Okay, what's this? Three videos in three days. It's a new record for me. Um, right, um, I'd like to, before I do anything else, um, I'd like to uh, mention something that I forgot uh, to mention in my last SF Pickups video. Um, and there's a, a viewer on the ch of the channel, Richard Rempel, um, he has just started a, his own science fiction uh, pickups and reviews channel um, and I know how, how difficult it is to get the channel up and running so um, I'd appreciate it and he would appreciate it if you'd go across to his uh, channel and uh, give him a few views and subscriptions just help him out. Um, the, the name of the site is Vintage SF. I'll, um, I'll put a link uh, to his channel uh, in the description on the video. So uh, good luck with that Richard and uh, my apologies for forgetting last time. Uh, right, this is um, next in my series of um, uh, novels that uh, won the Hugo Award. My Hugo Project as I call it. Um, and today's book is and just the one, uh, Case of Conscience by James Blish. Now, this won the Hugo Award in 1959, as I recall. Um, and a brief synopsis. Uh, I must admit, it's, uh, it's about four weeks since I finished this. Um, I've been derelict in my duties of um, Hugo with us. But yeah, uh, I'll, I'll try and remember what happens. Um, basically, there are four four uh, people sent to scientists uh, sent to a planet called Lithia um, to decide whether it's fit for human contact. Um, one of the scientists is a priest called Jesuit priest called Ruiz Sanchez, as I remember, um, and they discover um, the local inhabitants come across them and uh, Ruiz Sanchez I mean, befriends one of them and, and, and learns a language. Um, when it there, there are there are uh, one of the, one of the group wants to exploit the place because apparently there's a precious metal or something I can't remember what it was uh, on the planet. Um, the other two are not so sure anyway. Um, that they need to have a vote and, and recommend um, what to do. And uh, it's a tool draw. Um, so they decide to, to come back to Earth, see what happens. Um, now, um, one, the, the alien that Rui Sanchez um, befriended, he gives him a, when, they, when they're ready to return, he gives him a jar. Uh, with an egg inside, and it's um, it's, it's his, his son, his child. Uh, he wants him to um, experience, uh, be brought up and experience the Earth ways, if you like. Um, now, when, when, when they get back, um, the, the, the boy um, grows, you know, through, <coughs> he doesn't know much when he gets here, and he begins to learn a lot about the culture etc. And um, when he gets to Madhood, um, it doesn't go according to plan, let's put it that way. Uh, and that's all I'm prepared to tell you because the rest will be spoilers. But that's, um, that's a very sort of basic synopsis of the book. Um, I, I had trouble with this book. You know, I'm I'm really I'm really fed up with coming on here and dissing uh, books that are supposed to be the cream of the crop, um, as in Hugo Award winners. Um, there are quite a few of them that I really haven't enjoyed, and this was another one. Um, to that end, I've decided to uh, put this um, Hugo project on a hiatus for a while. It might be a while. <coughs> um, anyway, my my impressions of the book 
were um, that it there, there were there were some rather preposterous uh, something I forgot to mention in the synopsis. Um, Ruiz Sanchez has an audience with a pope, and it suggested that um, because Ruiz Sanchez believed um, that the the planet was some sort of demon trap because they had a perfect society without a god. Um, it was suggested to him that it might have been a good idea to exorcise the planet. And I had trouble with that one. Um, as, a, as an agnostic myself, um, religious themes in science fiction are a little bit uh, tricky with me. Uh, although, you know, I have, I've enjoyed the odd short story. I have an open mind. Uh, and, you know, I just find that that to be a bit preposterous. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's a well-written book. Um, it, it's not too long, you know, which, uh, which was in its favour for me. Uh, then again, a lot of 50s, 60s novels uh, weren't um, too long. They didn't need to be because, you know, they told a, a good story in a couple of hundred pages as opposed to uh, the books now, which run to seven, eight hundred pages. Uh, and yeah, as I say, and um, I mean, there were some good ideas in it. You know, humanity was living in sort of subterranean tunnels um, to to avoid the possibility of, of, of nuclear war. You know, um, you know they're well well beneath the surface, so um, they have their own system. You know, the ecosystem, uh, and and bombs yeah, wouldn't really affect them. Um, but of course, it all gets very claustrophobic. Um, the characters, um, well, Rui Sanchez, the priest, is okay, but some of the others are not. You know, they're not very likable. You know, which is fair enough. Um, but. The, as as a as a whole, uh, the thing didn't mesh uh, together with me. The, the only good part was the um, what happened with, um, with with the alien boy when he came to uh, to Earth. I mean that was that was quite fun, but um, apart from that, um, I didn't really enjoy this book at all. Sadly, um, on a scale my usual scale of of one to ten, with five being average, I'll give it a four. Um, because you know, as I say, there were a few good things in it. So that will be the last you're hearing from me about Hugo winners for for a while. Uh, uh, well, I hope it's not permanent, but uh, it'll be a while before I do any more. Uh, but um, I did read uh, another book in this last week or so. Oh, by the way, that took me. Um, that took me four weeks to read, <laughs> so unimpressed was I. I just read it in little, little bursts uh, while I was on the bus or something going somewhere. Um, but then I decided that I would read a novel without the constraints of uh, the Hugo thing, Hugo winning um, thing, and um, I decided to go with um, with Bob Shaw, Orbitsville. Um, now I I I you know I I watch a lot of booktubers um, and the, uh, everybody has nothing good you know nothing but good to say about Bob Shaw so I thought well I've got a few of his books I'll try one um, and I really I really enjoyed this one anyway I'll give you a, I'll give you a it's strange that the first first book that wasn't a Hugo winner I enjoyed it never mind. Um, I'll give you a brief synopsis again, um, without spoilers. Um, our our hero Vance Garamond, great name that Vance Garamond. Um, he is summoned. He's, he's a space a space captain, pilot, and he's summoned to meet the uh, president of Earth, Elizabeth, who's a nasty piece of work, and he has to wait two hours to see her. Uh, so somebody in the place, some flunky decides that he's going to look after a son for two hours. Now, unfortunately, um, the son climbs somewhere and he falls and hits his head and he dies. So uh, Garamond thinks, oh dear, <laughs> that's not going to go down very well. With Elizabeth, I'll, uh, I'll hide him and try and make my escape because she's bound to have me beheaded or something. I don't know what they did. Um, it went round about, went round about when this was set. Anyway, um, he decides to go on the run 
So he picks up his uh, wife and daughter and heads for his ship, uh, hoping to get a head start before they find the body. He hides the body, by the way. And he manages to get his... Well, this is all sort of very tense because he has to overcome a lot of hurdles uh, to get onto the ship uh, and away. Um, but he manages to do that. And um, just when the, the crew are giving up hope um, of ever finding somewhere, they come across this uh, big dumb object, you know, as they call them in science fiction, uh, much like the ring world... Um, object um but this is they have trouble getting in but they finally get in and um this place is huge it's massive um that, that you know you, you you couldn't really um understand how big it is from 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 what the description in the book but it is absolutely huge you know if you could feel like a million earths in there or something it's ridiculous um and um the population of Earth is um, is increasing. I think there's lack of food. And, um, yeah, it's getting you know not too clever. And um, they've uh, some of them moved to the one colony that uh, Earth has managed to establish. So this place, you know, could be a <laughs> could be an absolute uh, Eden uh, for the rest of, of Earth. And uh, they, they explore the place and they come across a few aliens. Uh, and um, there's a few things, you know, go on, which I, I can't go into detail about because it's, uh, it'll take too long. But um, anyway, Garamond decides that he's going to uh, explore a bit and he visits this uh, other planet. Um, now, unfortunately, on the way back, the ship develops faults. And... Um, they're headed towards um, the big dumb object, Orbit's Phil, as they've called it. Um, and they find that they cannot stop before they hit it. And that's where I'll end it, because anything else will be will be spoilerish. Um, now, I really, as I say, I, I really enjoyed it. Um, my impressions of the book are that it was um, it was hard science uh, in many ways, but not in the way that Ringworld was. Um, it was it was hard science that was explained, um, sort of in layman's terms, if you like, um, and you know it was, it was more easy to understand what they were talking, what Bob Shaw was talking about, and this was sort of uh, married to a pulpy fiction pulp fictiony kind of story but yeah very good very well written uh, very well delineated delineated characters i mean vance garamond no, i really got behind him um and it was a kind of a blend of the two now, i don't care for hard science fiction stories and i don't really care for pulp um space operas either but the marriage of the two somehow worked and um yeah, I mean, it, it was quite a, quite a tense book in places, um, especially uh, at the start and, and towards the end of the book. Um, and, um, I, I mean, it's, it's, it's a book that um, I've seen around, so, I mean, I think it would be easy to find a second-hand copy of this. But I would recommend that you do. So that's my, uh, my little summing up of that. Um, on a scale of... 1 to 10 as usual, with 5 being average. Um, yeah, I'll give it a 9. Um, yeah, 9, which is uh, which is pretty good in my estimation. So, yeah, that's my uh, my last couple of reads. Um, as I say, uh, any books that I, I, I talk about um, and give my impressions of now will be probably just ordinary books, you know, that won nothing, <laughs> hopefully. And... Um, yeah, that's where we stand at the moment. So, as usual, thank you very much for your attention. Um, please share, please subscribe. Uh, don't forget to visit Richard. And I will see you, not tomorrow, but sometime in the future. Goodbye now. Bye-bye.